Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. Cumberland Outdoorsman here with you in yet another one of my 22 series videos. Today is June the 19th. This is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all you dads and granddads out there. You well deserve a day to yourself. Well, I was going to come out here and shoot this video yesterday, but uh, I ended up spending yesterday afternoon and the entire evening at the emergency room here at my local hospital because early yesterday afternoon I developed just an excruciating pain in my left flank and uh, got to the hospital and come to find out I had kidney stones and I was passing one of them and then uh, after I got to the hospital and they ran tests I was sitting there waiting for my results the pain came back and it really came back with a vengeance and I was out there walking around in the hall and just breaking out in a sweat just anybody that's had kidney stones you know what I'm talking about one of the nurses came up to me and she said uh, are you in pain I said yeah that's an understatement she said well come in here let's see if we can help you out and uh, she shot me full of Dilaudid's and that pretty much eliminated the pain for the rest of the evening and all of last night hadn't come back so I I guess I passed both of those kidney stones yesterday and I've been pretty well pain-free all day today but anyway I wanted to come out here and shoot this video yesterday like I said but I wanted to take the opportunity today and uh, present to you a little cartridge that's very popular it's been out for a long time and a lot of folks really like to shoot these this is the uh, CCI CB cap or CB short and it's low noise low velocity 710 feet per second and it, here it says it's used for pest control I would say for things like rats or mice and feral pigeons things like that it would be pretty effective at close range you know this is a close range proposition here and uh, we're going to test them out in some different guns that I've got here and a handgun also CCI also makes a CB long that has the same bullet, just a long cartridge, like the long rifle cartridge, for those of you that don't like to shoot short cartridges in your gun. Here I've got two of them on the table here for comparison. Here's the CB short and there's the long. It's the same bullet and same loading, just in a different cartridge configuration like I mentioned. Now throughout the years, the CB cap or the CB short was offered by different manufacturers and I've got some here that I've showed before in the past. These are Remington CBs and uh, CB22s. This is pretty much a uh, collector's item anymore. If you have any of these, hang on to them because the value is going up quite a bit. Collectors pay good money for these. And there's still a few here in the box. I didn't shoot them all. These actually have a copper plated bullet, little copper plated solid nose bullet and to my recollection they're quite accurate, you know, they're, they're accurate little round, but uh, I don't think they're making these anymore. They may come back and start making these again since the uh, plant reopened in Lone Oak, Arkansas. I would like to see them come back because these were good little cartridges for plinking and for pest control. That's a vintage box and I would say it's probably at least 20-25 years old. Speaking of vintage cartridges, here I've got some on the table that I'd like to share with you. I'm going to give you a close-up of each one. Here's some uh, Montgomery Ward 22 short. That's something you don't see every day. Some of you older fellas out there probably remember these. I think they were made by Federal. That's a full box of them there. These are all solid point. Montgomery Ward 22 short. Now these are high velocity um, loadings I believe. And then we have some Remington. These are 22 short hollow point. Remington at one time made a 22 short hollow point. I'll open the box here and share these with you. There you can see the hollow tips. 
pull one out here. It's their famous golden bullet that they still make today. They don't make this loading anymore. It would be nice to see them come back, you know, if they ever decide to do so, I'd probably buy quite a few of these. And then for a while, also, there were two different boxes that Remington released through their Peters, 22 Peters loadings. I think these are both hollow point. Yeah, short hollow point, sure are. Pretty much the same as the Remington loading here. These are vintage. It's a full box of them. They're in really good shape. I really like collecting this old vintage 22 ammo because it's just so nostalgic, you know. <laughs> I'll open up this box and show these to you. Same loading. There you can see it's a hollow point. And these were effective hunting cartridges really because they did expand very well upon impact. There it says golden bullet as you can see up there. I don't know what happened to their to the Peters plant. It just closed down I suppose. And uh, they quit making cartridges a long time ago. And then here's some made by Hawthorne. I don't know if you've ever seen this. This is also vintage ammo. Not a full box, but there's some in here, you know. I'll pull one out here and show it to you. There you can see a close-up. Copper-plated bullet. I've never actually used these. I just have collected them through the years, you know. I always try to get them where the box is still in good condition. And then Winchester, of course, they had their 22 short loadings in both solid and hollow points. These are 22 hollow points. These came out back in the 1960s. I think this particular lot here was from 1963. And there's a full box of 22 short hollow point. I've always liked the, the hollow point loading because they were always just so effective on small game. And then later they came out with these, with this box, pretty much still the same loading, but uh, that's a full box of them there. I used to use these exclusively back in the day when I started squirrel hunting. And I think they quit making this box and this loading, I believe it was 1996 was the last year. So all of these are collectible and vintage uh, 22 loadings. And I keep them around because I just like collecting old things like that. And having this channel gives me the opportunity to share it with you. And a lot of you probably are familiar with those rounds. So anyway, with all that being said, I've got some targets downrange. I've got... Um, some stick on targets down here at 30 yards and we're going to see how well the CB short will perform at that distance and then a little bit later we'll shoot at the steel targets I got at 50 yards and see if any of them will actually fall over after being hit by a 29 grain CB bullet. <laughs> so stick with me. Here we go. Okay, I got these targets leaning up against a wooden block as a backstop and as you can see the one on the farthest left the upper target I've already shot at it and I'm aiming right at the top of that target so I'm going to go ahead and shoot at the target right next to it it's the one in the top row second to the left so here we go Okay, that's not terrible accuracy, but it's definitely not good accuracy. Okay, just for comparison, I loaded five CCI short high-velocity hollow points 
and we're going to see a difference in the noise level and most likely in the accuracy. So I'll be shooting at that left target in the bottom row. Here we go. That's shooting quite a bit higher. I'm aiming right at the middle, folks, so it's hitting a little bit high with this particular loading. Okay. Okay, let's try five more rounds of that on the next target. I think I think the gun actually has to be leaded in for each particular load. Okay, so here's five more rounds of 22 short hollow point high velocity. I'm going to aim at the bottom of the target. Okay, now it's starting to cut out the center. I'm going to shoot five more at the same target. All right. Last round. Okay, now I've got five rounds loaded into this little Remington Speedmaster 552. I'm going to see if this gun will actually cycle CB shorts, but I don't think it will. I don't think they have quite enough oomph to be able to cycle the action, but we're going to try it anyway, so here we go. All right. We'll go to the target just to the right of the one I just shot at, which is the one on the uh, bottom row on the right side, first target. Here we go. Up. I'm having to manually cycle these folks, and it's way off. And it's starting to group them at the bottom right at about five o'clock or so, as you can see. Okay, folks, got these targets set up here at 50 yards, and I'm just going to be shooting at the ones that have the orange stick on dots. I've got two swinging targets at the back or at the rear here. I've got a bunny rabbit and two squirrels. So let's see how well the CB short does at 50 yards on these targets.
Well, folks, that was the 22 CB short at 50 yards shooting my Remington bolt action rifle here. Some interesting results. It seemed like the more that I shot that particular cartridge in that gun, the more consistently it hit. I had to aim about that much higher to be able to connect with those targets down there. And here are some of the leftover bullets that I gathered after they hit the steel. You can see these little round metal discs. That's the bullet after it flattened out hitting that steel target down there. Pretty interesting. And I noticed on several shots that as I was watching that target when I squeezed the trigger I could literally see that bullet flying and hitting the target. That tells me that's a pretty low velocity load right there. You know, It's not too often that you can actually see the bullet in flight. Under certain light conditions you can, even a high powered rifle bullet at long distance. But here at 50 yards on those targets down there if you're going to see that bullet it's flying pretty slow. But anyway, you know, it's it, fairly consistent at that distance and uh, I probably wouldn't recommend shooting at any kind of game or anything that far away with that low velocity loading. I'd say 30 yards is about your maximum. And, uh, these targets here indicate the accuracy potential of that particular load. That's a five shot group at 30 yards using that rifle and then all these are five shot groups. And then just for comparison's sake, I shot the 22 short high velocity hollow point and as you can see the more I shot it and it started to get leaded in to that particular load all of them formed one ragged hole there pretty much and I would say if I clean that rifle and shoot about 10 rounds or maybe just five rounds uh, just to get it leaded in it would be very accurate and it has been in the past you know I've, I've used it to go squirrel hunting and I can hit distant targets out to 50 yards or more using the 22 short hollow point CCI. And then this group here was shot using the uh, Remington 552 Speedmaster, hit quite a bit lower and didn't group very consistently, you know, it was just pretty much either on one side or the other. And uh, that's just a basic rough estimate of how accurate that little cartridge actually is. Next I'm going to go ahead and try a handgun that I've got here and we'll see how it performs using the CCI short CB. This is a Smith & Wesson Model 17 with a 8 inch barrel it's just a rock solid revolver here probably one of the best revolvers ever made for the 22 or for any cartridge really we'll go ahead and get some loaded up and uh, shoot at those steel targets and see how well it does with a handgun okay now we're gonna see how well this ammunition does out of my handgun 50 yards folks Okay, I'm not sure where that hit, but that's quite a bit louder than out of a rifle barrel. All right, that hit the target right behind it. Okay, I actually connected with that one. I know where to hold now. Okay, I got five more rounds loaded in this Smith & Wesson. I'm going to see if I can connect with those two targets that are left over down there with these uh, 22 CB shorts. That was a miss.
Not sure what I hit there. Okay, now for the target on the right. Okay, that was a hit. Last round. Okay. Nice to end on a hit like that. Well, folks, after shooting the Smith & Wesson Model 17 at 50 yards with that little cartridge, I can see that it's not too bad in terms of consistency with this platform here. Of course, using something as rock solid as a good high quality revolver like this, it's going to shoot well no matter what you feed it. You know, this has always been a really, really accurate handgun. In terms of practical use for the 22 CB short, I would say if you're in a situation where you can't have too much noise, you know, where noise level is a problem, and uh, your shots are going to be a lot closer, whether it's uh, informal plinking or shooting at pests such as rats or whatever, then the 22 CB short would probably be a good choice if you have a good solid gun such as a bolt action or a pump action or something like that, or even a good lever action that'll cycle these little cartridges. Just make sure your gun's sighted in at the distance that you expect to make your hits. Uh, it's fairly consistent. I would say if I clean the barrel on these guns and then let them in, they'd probably shoot a little bit more accurately. But uh, it was definitely accurate enough to be able to hit rat-sized targets out to 40 yards, you know. And uh, power level-wise, I don't think that would be much of a concern. I think that the uh, impact from that 29 grain bullet would be more than enough to anchor any kind of pest like that. I've actually squirrel hunted with these before and harvested squirrels at close distance, keeping all my shots in the head or abdominal area, you know, upper abdominal uh, region where I make vital hits. So, you know, in, in uh, low noise situations, this would be the choice for you if you have a good gun that'll shoot them consistently. So hopefully you gained a little something from this video. I hope that I had enough good content where you get a good idea of how well the ammunition will perform out of different guns and uh, that way you can make a choice for yourself you know if noise level is not so much of a problem if you're out in a remote area you know and you're hunting then I would highly recommend something a little bit more powerful like these 22 short high velocity hollow points these are much more consistent much more accurate and of course much more powerful too when they hit so remember if you like to go hunting fishing camping, shooting, hiking, whatever it may be. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And also remember, hit the like button, smash that bell icon, and subscribe. That way you'll know when more videos like this will be coming your way. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, folks. Y'all take care.